In this video, we're going to talk about mild steel. Broadly, there are three types of steel substrate. Mild steel, galvanized steel, and stainless steel. Of these three, the most commonly used is mild steel. Bare mild steel will always require surface preparation prior to coating. Surface preparation is a critical part of the protective coating system. The degree of surface preparation dictates the performance of the overall protective coating system. The purpose of surface preparation of steel prior to application of a protective coating system is to remove contaminants on the steel that may cause initiation or continuation of the oxidization process and to remove contaminants on the steel that may prevent adhesion between the steel and the primer and to increase the profile and hence the surface area per square meter in order to maximize the adhesion between the steel and the primer. For steel surfaces that are subjected to contaminants such as oil and grease, these contaminants require removal prior to the surface preparation of the substrate by abrasive blasting or power tool cleaning methods. Abrasive blasting and power tool cleaning do not remove oils and grease from the substrate. If these contaminants are left on the substrate, the durability and expected performance of the protective coating system will be reduced. To remove oil and grease, you must use an alkaline type detergent degreaser. Gamelin CA1 can be used in conjunction with water or high pressure water cleaning to remove these contaminants prior to the use of abrasive blasting, power tool cleaning and hand tool cleaning methods. The types of surface preparation applicable to mold steel are abrasive blasting, power tool cleaning, hand tool cleaning, high pressure water cleaning and chemical cleaning. Here we have a typical piece of mold steel just straight out of the smelter it's been cut but it's a good example of what typically new steel looks like and in this case you can see the mill scale and in this area you've got no mill scale but the substrate is corroding so again when you form mild steel you smelter iron ore and carbon to form it and if, it, if it's exposed to the elements which is typically oxygen moisture and uh, temperature that kicks off the corrosion process and this piece of mild steel will want to eventually return to its original state, which was iron ore. So to protect it and to stop corrosion, we need to surface prepare the substrate to best remove this corrosion, um, to make sure you have a clean substrate and preferably an anchor pattern so the new coating can adhere to and to pick the right coatings suitable for the environment that this piece will be going to later on. And that could include a primer, like a zinc containing primer, an epoxy as an intermediate barrier, and followed by a decorative coating such as a polyurethane in many colours that are available. Here we have an abrasive blasted piece of steel similar to the one I was holding before. And as you can see, all the corrosion byproduct and the mill scale has been completely removed. It's difficult to see, probably. However, the abrasive blasting process has also created a surface profile. And it looks like just a very uneven finish, but uniform. So what you'll find is that when steel is prepared in this manner, this is the best possible form of surface preparation. And this is exactly what a coating wants to be applied to, to achieve its maximum durability and life. In industry terms, this finish of blast standard is a white metal finish. So as you can see, there's no corrosion left whatsoever on the substrate, and it's a completely uniform finish. This is the highest standard of abrasive blasting surface preparation for mild steel. A lower than desirable surface profile compromises the ability of the coating to key into and adhere to the substrate, resulting in lower bond strength. Furthermore, zinc-rich primers rely on direct contact of the zinc metal with the steel, and the higher the surface profile, the greater the contact. Steel sharp edges, laminations, burr marks and welds must all be attended to during the surface preparation process and is critical for long-term coating performance. Premature coating breakdown typically starts at sharp edges that haven't been adequately coated. Sharp edges cannot be painted over as coatings will always pull away from the sharp edge and pond on either side. The result is that the edge will carry a far lower film build than is necessary for adequate corrosion protection and will exhibit edge corrosion. To overcome this problem, sharp edges must be ground off to achieve a radius of at least two millimeters to ensure that the film build of the applied coating will be uniform on the rounded edge. 
A typical preparation for mild steel is as follows. Wash and degrease all surfaces with a free rinsing alkaline detergent such as Gamlin CA number one. This is to ensure that all oils, grease and other ink contaminants that can affect coating adhesion to the substrate are completely removed prior to abrading. Next, wash with fresh potable water to ensure that all soluble salts and other contaminants are also removed. Next, grind all sharp edges with power tool equipment to a minimum radius of 2mm. Power tool clean all welds to remove any dags or splatter that may affect coating adhesion. Next, abrasive blast cleaning to completely remove all existing surface corrosion. This method is far quicker and more cost effective than hand or power tool cleaning and provides maximum contact between the primer and the steel. Next, using compressed air or vacuum equipment, completely remove any debris on the surface prior to painting. For the average applicator who doesn't have abrasive blast cleaning equipment or facilities, it's quite likely that he'll be using power tool cleaning equipment to prepare the surface prior to painting. This power tool equipment can include grinding equipment, drills with wire brushes, sanding equipment, or handheld wire brushes. All of these methods can be used as a suitable surface preparation option as long as it's conforming to the product data sheet recommendations and the product specification. Abrasive blasting is always the best form of surface preparation of mild steel. The next best thing is power tool cleaning and in these two panels you can clearly see the effect between power tool cleaning and abrasive blast cleaning. The panel that's been power tool cleaned, even though all of the corrosion has been removed and the, and the panel is completely clean of all corrosion, it doesn't have the same type of angular pattern. So this is the next best surface preparation compared to abrasive blast cleaning. Regardless of the surface preparation methods used, the better the cleaning result, the better the adhesion of the coating to the substrate, and the better the performance of the coating. Commence application of the primer within four hours of preparation or before the surface becomes recontaminated. Otherwise, repeat the preparation steps. For further information on the best form of surface preparation for the project, please refer to the technical data sheet or your protective coatings representative. Upon the completion of surface preparation, common coatings used to protect mild steel substrates are zinc-rich primers, an epoxy-type barrier coating, and polyurethane top coats. All of these coatings can be used as a combination for the long-term protection and durability of the substrate. When long-term corrosion protection is required, you can consider the use of a zinc-containing primer. The zinc-containing primer only works when it's in direct contact with the mild steel metal. That zinc containing primer will work as a sacrificial coating and will corrode in preference to the mold steel. Stripe coat welds, bolts, bolt holes and all edges with the primer before application of the full primer coat. This ensures adequate coating film builds on hard to coat surfaces. Prior to application of subsequent coats, ensure that the surface is free of contaminants including oil, grease, dirt, dust and all other materials that will interfere with coating performance. The intermediate coat provides a barrier to moisture, ions and oxygen. Usually this coating is epoxy based due to the exceptional cohesive strength and impermeability of epoxies. This coating also provides fantastic abrasion resistance. Epoxies, however, tend to surface chalk when exposed to UV light and therefore require UV resistant top coats where aesthetics are important. For the protection of mild steel surfaces, epoxy coatings can be applied on their own directly over mild steel substrates or as an intermediate coat or can even be used as a finish coat. Their suitability is fantastic and can be used in a wide range of environments for long-term coating durability and protection. A UV resistant top coat like a two-pack polyurethane can be applied for decorative purposes and UV resistance. All of these products make up a protective coating system for the long-term protection and durability of the substrate.